Let's take it one step further. The populace in the Trump administration, they don't want more trade. They want China to make seven major concessions. Navarro calls them the seven deadly sins. No more stealing of our intellectual property. No more forced technology transfers. Stop dumping into our darn markets, putting our companies out of business. No more subsidized state-owned enterprises. No more currency manipulation. No more computer hacking. And perhaps in some ways the most important, no more illegal fentanyl exports that are killing, killing our people. What's so extraordinary is that if you just throw in punishment for global warming, I believe that the populist advisors in the White House have more in common with Elizabeth Warren's rhetoric than with the free traders in their own administration. I think she might end up being even tougher on China than Trump. So who wins in this White House, the free trade contingent or the populist? Unless China stops trying to negotiate a good price (laughs) and instead just starts buying, buying things like grains and planes, you name it. And I'm betting the populace win. The president, I think, maybe gets fed up. He's going to raise tariffs for everything to 30 percent in a month's time. The Chinese keep making the same mistake. They think this is about the balance of trade. Oh, maybe it was at one point. When in reality, it's about a whole lot more than that now. How can they get a deal? I think they need to start buying American goods like tomorrow to show Trump that the free traders have a point and their strategy can still work. He needs to show the free traders that they can have hope. Otherwise, the hardliners win. The trade war keeps dragging on. And depending on who wins and how what happens in the election, what plays out, it could go on for years. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.